Hello everyone. This is Nikita. I hope you all are doing good. In this video, I wanted to discuss about circumstancing in Pega. So, what is circumstancing? So, circumstancing is creating variations of the rule which would work in different circumstances. So, basically, we have the same rule in the same class, in the same rule set, in the same rule set version. Even then, I can differentiate the rules on the basis of certain factors, on certain circumstances. So that is what circumstancing is. Okay. So I can give you an example, like suppose you have a different kind of users which need to see different forms, right? So suppose there is some uh, elite user uh, who needs to see some particular form and the other user needs to see some different form. Like, like suppose um, you, if you, if you are uh, a debit card holder, you can have a different kind of debit card depending on the spend you do and some other circumstances. So basically, uh, to differentiate those users, we can we can uh, circumstance the rules. We can circumstance the sections on the basis of certain criteria. Okay, so that is what circumstancing is. So in this video, we would discuss about that and what are the different type of circumstancing. You know, uh, there are two types basically single variable and multivariant circumstancing. In single variant circumstancing, we have two types property circumstancing and date circumstancing. And in multivariate, uh, we actually have to create first template circumstance template. And then on that we create circumstance definition. Okay, so we would uh, uh, discuss about these and then create that in our application and understand how that it works how it works and, and first of all let me show you I have created a case type and what I would do is I would create a circumstance versions of my rule okay so this is my flow and this is my flow action and here I have a section already created okay so this is my section if i go to this field okay so this i have just kept it as a node property let me do something let me create a place uh, placeholder okay like this is a base rule okay so basically when you run this case type uh, if uh, the base rule is called, you would see that in your uh, form. Okay, I'll save this. So now this is the base rule, that's okay. But I want to create circumstanced rule on this section. Okay, so sub on basis of some uh, criteria. So let me do that. You have to go here, specialize by circumstance. Okay. Now, now coming to this form, right? So circumstance by template and circumstance by property and date. Remember, I mentioned there are two kinds of circumstancing. One is single variable and one is multivariant. So here you are getting two options. Template is the multivariant circumstancing and um, property and date is the single variant circumstancing. For now, just to make you aware of how circumstancing works, I'm keeping it as single variant circumstancing with property and date. So either you can give both date and property or you can only give the property. So let me do with the property type value. Okay. So what value on what value I have to show this particular section. Let me do it as silver. Okay. So now I can save it. So my new circumstance section is created. You can see here it is showing a circumstance by property type is silver. Okay. So to differentiate this rule, what I would do is uh, I would make the placeholder is this is a circumstanced silver. Okay. So now the uh, now I know that when my rule, uh, when my form has uh, this placeholder, then this section, the circumstance section has been called. Okay. 
now coming to uh, how do i set the property value here the type as silver somewhere i have to set right so that then only this rule will get picked up so what i can do is i can go to my flow action and here in the pre processing because before the form is loaded before the section is loaded i need to set this property so i've created a data transform okay pre and now i have to do some value in it let me uh, give it as type as silver okay so now since the type has been set as silver uh, i should see the circumstance form okay first let me disable this right click disable and uh, when i don't set any value what uh, section is called we would see that okay so let's do this let's go here and create a purchase request case okay just create it now you would see the section which we have created okay so see you can see this is a base rule since my my type is not silver yet so the base rule is called well and good now cancel it and let's enable this step where the type is silver okay so now when i create a new purchase request case now which section will be called see this is a circumstanced silver rule right so now you understand why uh, the circumstance rule is called because i made the type as silver okay coming to now coming to if if i want to create some more circumstance rule i can do that okay i can go to the base rule where is my base rule okay so you can see this is type as this is a circumstance rule and uh, my base rule is here okay now i want to specialize by circumstance i will want to give some other property value let me type it as gold as type as gold okay now click here and this i can make it as this is a circumstance gold rule okay so now when you make this as gold what will happen is my gold version should be called let me see if that works okay so this is working so that's that is how you apply the circumstance rule this was a single variant circumstancing okay you can also give date to your circumstancing suppose i want to uh circumstance this section property and date okay now suppose i get it as px create date time start date and end date uh, let me give some value as you know let me give from uh, friday to tuesday okay so let's see let me write it as this is circumstance date rule
let me save it let's go here create this now you might be thinking why the circumstance goal rule has called been called though it uh, the date one satisfies my condition my goal rule is called because uh, the property circumstancing takes precedence over the date circumstancing okay so now suppose i would have um, in the uh, data transform let me disable this now when i run again now the circumstance date rule has been called okay so this is how it is so the pro property takes precedence over the date if you have both okay now coming to the multivariant circumstancing so let me specialize this flow action okay so you need to first create the template let me go to records technical circumstance template create so you can create a test template class to class can be purchase request okay so now uh, in this tab template tab you have to specify the properties on which you have to circumstance so you can uh, give any number of properties here let me give some so let me give only one now okay so now you have to create the circumstance definition this test definition template name so you have just created a template test template now you have to apply the value to it so i can give as type as silver okay so if i've given the type as silver okay now what you have to do is you have to create the circumstance rule okay so giving the template name giving the definition okay so this is created the circumstance rule you can see the test template is test definition okay so now uh, what will happen is which flow action would be called is dependent upon what you have set in the circumstance definition so how can i call this particular uh, cir circumstanced flow action what i can do is i can go to the flow okay there is a connect out here what i can do is i can set property here let me set it as type as silver okay let me submit so since i have submit uh, since i have set the value as silver so my circumstance flow action should be called right so let me see create a purchase request case how do you know that which flow action has been called you can uh, you can just go here uh 
okay you can just go here and uh, check the live ui click on this you would see here there is section and above that there is a flow action now when you when you open this so it would open in designer studio your flow action so this flow action has been called which is the test template not the base one okay so this is how you can circumstance through circumstance template and definition as well okay i hope you got an idea about it uh, so this was all from circumstancing for today i have come up again with a video on more detailed uh, scenario based circumstancing till then uh, stay safe take care bye bye